Hello guys. Welcome back to Sister Noyes Corner. Guys, I'm at work. It's lunch time after 12. I'm just taking a walk. That's what I do. I walk around the property for 20 minutes or so. Take advantage of the break time. I work with the state so I can do it. So I'm walking around. But uh, since it's this season of fasting and prayers, I'm just reflecting on what is going on in the society now. And reflecting in particular about this, uh, I don't want to call its name, this disease. I don't want to leave us. Guys, since 2020 beginning, we've been tormented by this uh, disease guys it's time this disease leaves us omicron or whatever delta or whatever your name is you need to go and leave us alone you need to leave us alone to enjoy ourselves and our life see after christmas i live in florida and you guys know how much they say this thing is over here. You know the number. I think we are the highest <laughs> in all the states. You know, this thing needs to go. This thing needs to leave us alone. We need to be free from you. Say Satan get you behind us. You need to go. Command you to go. God said in uh, Deuteronomy 7 15, He said He will keep us, God will keep us, me and you, away from diseases, all kinds. And Omicron, COVID 19, you are a disease. God will keep us away from you. Say, These diseases of the Egyptian, you shall not come around us. And we believe the word of God. We believe God to keep us safe. We believe He will keep us free. So, Omicron, 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 or whatever you want to it. Omicron, go. Omicron, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Enough of your torment on the people of God. Enough. People cannot come out. People cannot open their mouth. People cover their nose, cover their mouth. Get shots, number one, number two, booster, number three, number four. Still, you don't want to go. Come on. Omicron, go. Omicron. Guys, chase this in a way. Open your mouth and chase it away. You need to go. Be free. Be free. Be free. Cause this thing and make it to go. Let us begin to just let faith arise in us. Say God will hear us. He will do whatever we, he hear us say. So that's why I'm saying with this attitude of prayer, I'm saying Omicron, Omicron, you gotta go. Omicron, you gotta go. I stand on God's word in Deuteronomy 7 15. He will keep me away from diseases. Hey, listen, here in Florida, we're free. Don't say it loud. We're free. No matter your number, no matter what we are doing, we are bent on trashing you, Omicron, on living our life. And we are protected from you. We are protected from you. We cannot, because of you, keep indoors and get all kinds of diseases for not being able to go out and live our life. Huh? What is all this? Golly. God will save us. He will protect us. See? People want to gather, have fun. They're thinking of you. Omicron. <laughs> People want to do something. They are thinking of you. Omicron. 
See, some churches are closed because of you, Omicron. Who knows which one will come tomorrow? <laughs> Who knows which one will come tomorrow? Devil, I'm just laughing at, laughing at you. I'm just laughing, laughing at you because I know you have lost the battle. You have lost again. Your torment is too much. You have lost again. Our God will protect us. See, we are debating. Do we close school? Do we open school? What do we do? This thing is here. What do we do? Our God is God. You have all the answers. See, try to apply all the sciences, everything. This thing is still there. I know they say pandemic can last for more than two years. That's what we're seeing. But we will leave. We will leave. Old folks will say, sing their hymn. God, this is the mountain. If you cannot remove this mountain, give me strength to climb it. God, give us strength and strategy. Give us strength to climb and withstand this Omicron disease and others that are coming. Give us strength and not be afraid of what the arrows the enemy is throwing at us. But to know that you are God, you will protect, you will shield us. Give us strength, God, and the grace that you have already released to us that will take it, that you will protect us. You will protect us. You will protect us. You have been so faithful. Thank you for this year, 2022, that we just, in January, thank you for all the cries of your people. We are just crying unto you, God, to deliver us from this sickness. Deliver us, oh God. Deliver us, oh God. Deliver us, oh God. We thank you. We bless you. We know you alone can do it. You see? It doesn't matter what man think, what man do. Every knowledge comes from you. That's what the word of God say. Is there any lack of wisdom? Let him ask of you. You will give that. So I will thank you for the scientists and all those that are in authority who are looking for solutions to this problem. We know God that solution will come from you. We know, God, that you got our back. You got our back. You don't move an inch from your position. You sit in heaven and the earth is your footstool. We have our hope and our trust in you. Knowing in God that you won't leave. You will not forsake us. Omicron, you need to go. Stop the tormenting, tormenting people with fear. Tormenting people with fear. They're so afraid they can't come out. They're so afraid they can't think straight. You torment their mind. You torment their brain. Golly, golly, golly. People are so afraid because of you. We say you must go. Many come. You must go. You cannot keep tormenting us. We're laughing at you. Because we know who has the final answer. Our God. Our God. Yes. See? <clears throat> this is it. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm not dying. I'm not afraid of you. God will protect. That's the mindset. That's the spirit. That God will protect. That God will protect from this disease. Hey, where I go? Huh? January 14, you know, they say 15 or what today. You, you're still coming, to, you're still talking about you. You gotta go. We have so much to do for the Lord. We have so much. We need physical touch. We need to touch people. People need one another. We need to see each other. Relational, physical relationship. We need one another to gather around. Huh? What is all these things? Go, Omicron. Go. <laughs> Leave us alone. Hey, Leave us alone. We've had enough of you. We have had enough of you. Oh, you see? Our God is above 
you Omicron, you COVID-19. See, you try him, but you cannot succeed. You try him. You want us to deny our God. Who are you? Who are you, Omicron? Who are you, devil? Sure. Take away your hold from the people of God. Whew. We stand on the word of God. The word, the word, the word. It keep us from diseases. He will not let diseases of the Egyptians come unto. That means unbelievers. The people that don't believe you, God. Come unto your people. Father, we thank you. Thank you, God. Bless your name. Hey, guys. If you watch my video to this uh, if you watch up to now please try to uh, subscribe like and share okay yes let us pray our god and our father we just want to thank you for this moment that you have put in my heart to talk about this diseases that is tormenting us to declare God your word over it that you will heal us from all diseases that you will protect us that you will shield us and when the enemy threw the arrows like we have known that you protect us we will rise up in us to say it is written to open our mask and say devil get you behind me Deuteronomy 7 15 says God will keep me from diseases we thank you for lives you have saved from these diseases. We thank you, God, for those who have been in the hospital, have been discharged, those who are at home using home remedy, children from schools that you have been protecting, King of Glory. We thank you. This enemy meant much, but your goodness is running over us. Your favor is running over us. Your grace is more than we need. We thank you for your continual protection. Is there any asking this time? Why am I still being tormented by this disease? Show yourself faithful to such ones in the name of Jesus. Protect them, protect their families, God. Give them hope where there is no hope. Tell them, King of glory, that you alone is God. Reveal yourself in an excellent way today, God. That they will know, God, that you are God and only you you are God Jesus we thank you thank you for this moment thank you for trashing this disease in our life thank you for hope that faith will arise in us God to be able we can quench all the fairy darts that the enemy is throwing on us Father we praise you we exalt you thank you for this moment in your presence blessed be your name give you glory I give you all honor in jesus name we pray amen oh yeah it feels good guys thank you for watching i'm gonna end the video and continue my walking and i have to do about 25 minutes but i'll see you in my next video peace